How many drum strokes can a drummer do in one hour? Before continuing, have a think and put your estimate down in the comments. Now, more specifically, how many drum strokes can I do in one hour? To help us with an estimate, the drummer Mike Mangini in the past, he did hold the world record for the most strokes in one minute, which was 1,203 strokes. The guy was doing like 20 strokes per second, which is very fast. It's faster than I can play. I do not hold the world record for the world's fastest drummer. However, today I'm gonna to see how many strokes I can do in one hour. But how can you count how many strokes a drummer is making? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. You can't keep up, can you? That's where this device comes in. The Drummometer Model 2. So this device is attached to this practice pad and there's a little sensor in the practice pad. So every time you hit it, it registers one stroke. So you just plug it in, set the timer for how many seconds you want to play for, and start. Now this device actually only goes to 900 seconds, which is precisely 15 minutes. So every 15 minutes I have to reset the timer and then keep on counting. So today I'm gonna to do four sets of 15 minutes to see how many drum strokes I can play in one hour. Now, eventually what I actually wanna try and do is see if I can set a world record for the most drum strokes in 24 hours. Yes, 24 hours of non-stop drumming. <laughs> Now this whole concept started for me back when I got 80,000 subscribers on YouTube and I thought a good video idea would be to play 80,000 strokes on the buckets and I failed miserably. Even playing at a high speed it would take well over an hour to play 80,000 strokes and I conked out and failed the test. <laughs> But now that I have a proper machine to actually count my drum strokes, I'm gonna see how far I can go with it. There is a man called David Goggins who once held the world record for the most chin-ups in 24 hours. And when he went for that record, just from doing so many chin-ups in a 24 hour period, all the skin tore off his hands. So if I attempt to play drums non-stop, you know, at a high speed for 24 hours, I don't know what's gonna happen. Now there's two last things that I wanna mention before we get started. The first is this pad does not have the best rebound. The rebound is okay, but there are a lot of pads and a lot of drums out there that feel nicer to play, have more rebound, less resistance. I could probably play faster and longer on a different pad. The second thing that I wanna mention is that the world's fastest drummer records are not really full strokes. They kind of play like this. It's almost like they're just vibrating the drumstick on the top of the pad. But when I play, I wanna do full proper strokes. Now, when I play today, I'm not just gonna play singles, I'm gonna play doubles, singles, rudiments, all sorts of patterns. But for the world records, it's either singles, doubles, or parody, so it has to be the same pattern, obviously. But because I'm going for an hour, I'm gonna do a combination of everything. I'll be playing doubles, singles, flams, everything. But they will be full strokes, and I don't wanna to resort to this kind of, you know, just doing that for an hour. Even if I go for 24 hours, I don't wanna be doing that for 24 hours. So I am gonna try and make sure that all my strokes are proper drum strokes that could be used musically. Now, one last thing that I will mention, if I set a metronome to a certain time and I work out how fast I can play, like for example, 16th notes to that metronome, I can calculate how many strokes I could do in one hour or 24 hours, depending on how long I could stay at that pace. For example, if I put the metronome at 60 beats per minute, so one beat for every second, And if I play at a speed of eight strokes per metronome beat, it will equal a speed of 480 strokes per minute. So we can use that to calculate how fast I would have to go if I was to play a million strokes in 24 hours, which is kind of my ultimate goal. I got over 1 million subscribers on YouTube, so it would be cool to see if I could play 1 million strokes in 24 hours. But today I'm just gonna have some fun and just keep playing for an hour. Okay, the first 900 seconds or the first 15 minutes, let's go. Singles.
9,395 strokes in 15 minutes. Okay, that's the first 15 minutes down. I don't want to break for too long, maybe two or three minutes, and then I'm going to start the second 15 minute set. But, oh man, I'm already... <laughs> <laughs> My arms are already feeling it. There's a couple things I noticed actually doing the full 15 minute set. One is the double stroke roll is very good bang for your buck. Singles, single stroke rolls are very tiring. So I think a lot of doubles are the key to getting the most strokes. Second thing I noticed is flams often get counted as one stroke on that drum pad. I was putting some flams in there just having some fun, but I think the flams are only getting counted as one stroke. So it's a bit of a waste. And a lot of the time that I was playing, I was kind of like looking over the machine, trying to make sure it's picking up every stroke, you know, when I did a, a little flare of some doubles and, and triplets and all that, and I was like, are you, are you getting that? Are you getting that? Because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure, but I think it is doing a good job of picking up all the strokes. Another thing I thought playing for 15 minutes straight like that was it's probably more fun to have a metronome going. So I might try that for the second set of 15 minutes, have a metronome going, and I can jam to that a little bit and not go crazy. So I got over 9,000 strokes in the first 15 minutes. If I can make that a bit better and go 10,000 strokes, that's 40,000 strokes an hour. And over a 24 hour period, that's still only 960,000 strokes. So I'm still short of 1 million strokes in 24 hours. I have to go faster than that for 24 hours straight if I wanna get a million strokes for a million subscribers in 24 hours. Let's get back to it. Round two, let's go. So I actually got even more strokes on that second 15 minute slot, but I'm running out of time that I have in this studio today. So I'm gonna have to keep going with the last 30 minutes, but my arms are killing me. Here we go again. I beat 10,000. So this is the bad news. With all my yapping and talking about this and that, I've actually run out of time in this studio that I've booked today, so I can't do the last 15 minutes. Today, we only got 45 minutes. However, I did manage to get over 10,000 strokes uh, in 15 minutes. And also, my arms are at the limit, <laughs> especially in here and in my hand here. I don't think I would be able to get another 10,000 strokes in another 15 minutes. But next time, I'm gonna try and go for three hours. And so we're gonna work up to that. Today was 45 minutes. I didn't even get the one hour, but I did my best. So for the first 15 minutes, I got 9,395. And the second 15 minutes, I got 9,749. And then in the third 15 minutes, I got 10,501 drum strokes. So I think it's very possible for a drummer to do 40,000 strokes in one hour. How close was your estimate? And don't edit your comment. So if I work hard, I can get 10,000 strokes per 15 minutes. I can get 40,000 strokes per hour, which equals 940,000 strokes per 24 hours. So if I get a little bit over 10,000 strokes for every 15 minutes before I reset the timer, then it might be possible for me to play 1 million strokes in 24 hours. What do you think? See you next time.